1964, if you would talk a little bit about the mothers. What do you want me to say? I was with the Soul Giants for a very short period of time because I was invited in as a substitute guitar player. I received a call from Ray, who had been working with a group at a local bar in Pomona called The Broadside. They were working in a bar, a beer bar called The Broadside in Pomona, California and they needed a substitute guitar player for a weekend job, and I went to play with them. The lead singer at the time had had a fight with the original guitar player. his face or something. Um, I knew the singer, his name was Ray Collins, and he called me up and said, could I come down on a Friday night and substitute for this guy? Leave my nose alone, please. I want to make a couple of minor adjustments here before we go on to the next song. Just a I uh, joined the band, and then after a while I said, well, look, why don't we try and do something, and do some original material, because we were playing Midnight Hour and all that other shit. Uh, I had some laughs and I liked the band and I liked the drummer and I said well why don't we learn some original material because that was you know, we were basically just playing in the midnight hour and that kind of dance music of the period out in this Pomona area it was unthinkable you just had to play other people's music or you can't work these jobs in these bars anymore I mean that was the fact because um, musicians in this area that they refer to as the Inland Empire were used only as a jukebox function to make people drink this bad beer that they serve. But then I suggested they should stop playing all their bar band songs and learn some new material and, you know, let's go make a record. And the guy who was the leader of the band was a sax player named Davey Coronado. And he said, no, don't do that, because if you play original material, you'll lose your jobs, because these club owners won't hire a band that plays original material. Okay, can we uh, start the music now? That'd be all right. I talked him into uh, getting weird, and we practiced in what was left of the studio for about a week before I abandoned it completely. Yeah. And uh, so me and Ray, Roy Estrada, Jimmy Carl Black, went searching all over the countryside for places to work, and it was really a difficult situation. Around 1965 or 66, it was impossible to find a place to uh, work if you're a rock and roll musician and you want to play in Hollywood because mm -hmm. the clubs are being squeezed out of business. And so uh, we moved away. So he decided to, you know, he'd go on and do something else and the, the remnants stayed together to form the basic mothers of invention. So we learned some original material and we found out that Davy Carnado was right. We got fired all over the place. Hi kids, seriously now, this is your friends, the mothers of invention. See you next time.